Hello everyone, welcome back to another Teacher Time with Kelsey. Um, today is Wednesday, which means that we are going to do an artist spotlight. I have a very special artist picked out for you guys today, and I also have a really special art experience, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, before we get started though, grab your tea, find a cozy spot, and I will tell you a little bit about our artist today, Vasily Kadinsky. So now that you've had a chance to get a little more familiar with Kadinsky's work, I would like to tell you a little bit about him. So one of the reasons that I chose him for our artist spotlight today was after doing Jackson Pollock, I thought it would be nice to continue with that abstract kind of artist group. And something that's really cool about Kadinsky is he's actually an abstract artist, but he's also an impressionist. So him and Jackson Pollock have a lot in common. and the way that they look at art and the way that they look at coming up with ideas for their paintings. So for him, it's a similar process to Jackson Pollock where he might not come with a specific idea in mind, but is instead is using colors and shapes and shadows and light to create a feeling or an image through that. So I thought that was something that's nice just to be able to kind of have that connection to what we did last week too. But there's also a lot of really unique things about Kadinsky that I really like. Um, one thing that I noticed when I was looking through his art is that he uses a lot of geometric shapes, which I know for the Olive Room has been such a huge thing, especially in art. So I think that's something that would be really cool for you guys to explore. And I think that you could really appreciate some of his paintings and work that he does too because of that. And um, the other big thing that I really enjoyed about him was he actually has a really special gift and it's so interesting because we have actually kind of done this in the olive room without this being something that just comes naturally to us necessarily but Kadinsky when he was a young boy realized that he's actually able to hear colors and see sounds so it's a really interesting thing that he's able to do if you imagine him listening to a song what that means is that when he's listening to that song or listening to someone play music he's actually able to see what the music would look like and that's something that has been incorporated into a lot of his paintings too is he uses the colors and the images that he gets when he listens to sound and he puts them down on a piece of art. So I thought that was something so special. We've been doing that a lot in the Olive Room, just trying to listen to music and see what it makes us feel, what it makes us see, kind of trying to listen to the beats and, you know, create art with the beats too. And it's something that Kadinsky's just done naturally since he was a boy. So I actually, was wanting to explore that gift a little bit more. So that is kind of the direction that we're gonna go today with our art experience. So what I would like us to do is take some of Kadinsky's natural gifts that he has turned into a technique and we'll kind of use it to inspire some of our art. So you guys can get started by getting a canvas, again, a fabric, anything that your parents feel comfortable with you painting on. If it's a smaller one, that's fine. If you have a bigger one, that might be kind of nice. If you feel like moving, that'll give you a little more space to kind of move around something. But it's definitely okay to do something a little smaller for this too. So get your materials ready, your canvas, 
get out some paint. You can use acrylic, you can use tempera, whatever paint you have at home that would work. And I think we're pretty much ready to get started once you have all of that. So once you do, bring it all over and I will show you our video. Start by choosing your song. I chose to use Wildflowers by Tom Petty, but you can use any song you want. It can be loud, soft, it can have words, or just music. Choose any song that inspires you and will help you be creative. Once you have your song chosen, turn it on, close your eyes, and see what colors appear. Those are the colors that you'll be mixing for your palette. You can mix as many or as little as you'd like, depending on the different sounds that you hear. Keep mixing your colors, and don't be afraid to stop or restart the song if you need to listen closer. you have your colors you can start painting your background. I like to do two layers, usually dripping on the second layer so it goes across nice and thick. Now you can start adding shapes by closing your eyes and listening to the beats of the song. What shapes do those beats make you think of? How many are there? Are they big? Small? You can get creative and put whatever shapes or patterns you see. If you'd like, you could stop here, or you could add a few more details. I chose to add more details by using a Sharpie. You can take the Sharpie and outline your shapes, you can add lines, you can add swirls, any sort of little details that you can think of. If you want, you can follow the song again to get ideas, or you can just play with the Sharpie and see what designs come out. Once you add all your details, you're done, and you have your finished Kadinsky-inspired painting. Hello again, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, there is a lot of other things you can do with that technique and that experience. If you tried it on a smaller canvas today, you could switch up and do it on a larger canvas and really move around or you know the other way if you did it on a big one and you got to move maybe see what happens if you tried it a little smaller and really focused in on some some of those details too in a different way so lots of ways that you can continue this exploration at home and keep exploring and i hope that you enjoyed it for this time have a great day and we'll see you next time